Hey folks, how are you? Well, Heather and I are back in the bush today. We're going to get a small load of firewood. Um, I brought in the battery saw again. Now, some of you folks, uh, one person mentioned that the chain was too tight on this, but it wasn't too tight. That's what, have you heard the chattering last time? Oh, I hit something here sharp. See that? I hit a rock. I should have sharpened that. Well, I didn't. I can touch that up. Anyways, uh, Problem was I had the pitch wrong on the on the uh, chain. This little battery saw does not like the same pitch as my Husqvarna. So if it's too if it's not sharp enough this way, if it's too straight down, needs a good hook on this, or else that chain will chatter like crazy. Anyways, we have a tree here. I found a dead tree up here. So anyways, I found this dead tree here. So what I want to do is try to drop it in. That way in between this spruce, this white spruce, and that little pine. So we got a dead one here, kind of a little guy. I'm going to get rid of him, and I'm going to drop that down. With any luck, it doesn't land on the bike. I don't think it will, though. This should be a piece of cake dropping this. It's already leaning in the right direction. Beauty. I'd say that's a success. It's fairly rotted. I'm going to cut this off square here. There. Let's see how this cuts now. This one here is a little punky on the outside or else it would have made good lumber, but I'm not going to bother with it for lumber. We're just going to cut it into firewood. cut up folks we're gonna get it loaded and we'll be back we ended up getting that much loaded on it what do you think Heather not it's bad awesome. little load eh no, it's safe. that's what it's looking like two good rows like that and a bunch pile up in the back and uh, the little bike still handles it quite nicely and it still looks not too too bad after redoing it this summer um, still going good front tires are balder than anything but that's okay maybe next year or the year after we'll find some tires and put on it they're not that expensive but anyway that's how our load of firewood looking so we are going to get home right heather and get this piled in with the rest of it yes. beauty day it rained off and on pretty much rained steady yesterday but it rained off and on almost all day today yes. yeah. but not too bad but we still managed to get two loads of firewood in yeah. so that's good we cleaned up this dead one and then we dropped another little wee dead one that was 
really dry. He, was, he wasn't going punky yet, but he was getting close. You can see here. He was starting to. He was just starting to. But that'll be great in the old wood stove. So, uh, not too shabby. Decent little load of wood, I guess. I want to build a trailer like this, but I want to go so I can put three rows. I want to go, uh, I want to go just over four feet long. I cut my blocks at 16 inch. So I want to, uh, I want to, uh, be able to haul out a pile four feet high by eight feet long. Right now I'm only getting a pile about six and a half, seven feet long by well, about six feet long by maybe uh, three feet high, I guess. Two and a half feet, I'm not sure. Anyways, we have one load to start out there already. And this one here, once you get this pile in, you'll see what we end up getting. Alrighty, well, that little pile is what we got done in the first load. Now we have that other load out there that you just seen us get. Uh, we haven't even got a pile in here, but that's what it's looking like so far in here. It's all large wood as you can see here and it's fairly large wood there too but now here's the thing. I don't plan on using the gasoline generator outside. I plan on getting a, a, an electric one for in here, a used one. Because I figure um, the generator probably runs through about the same amount of gas as a wood splitter will. So I can just run the generator outside since I have an outlet in here now. So when the generator is running, I run everything in here if I need it. So while the generator is running, I can power everything in the house as well as my wood splitter. Instead of just running a gasoline wood splitter and splitting firewood out there and nothing else benefiting from that engine running. So anyways, that's what I did with the 4x4s. Four four we cut... Uh, we cut... We milled two of those 4x4s. Four I don't even know if I showed you that last time, but I ended up... I think I told you anyways, I ended up with uh, two 4x4s, a bunch of uh, 2x4s, and some 2x6, 19 2x6 in fact. So that's what I did there, so that's how I set it, it's up off the ground, there's a space in between those 2x4s where the air can get under and whatnot. And that's what we got going on so far now, we are going to pile that all the way to the top, and we do keep that ladder in here all the time, so if we need to get wood down, we can, it's no big deal. But I would have all. I would rather have all the firewood pile in here. I don't care if it's full size like this and not split. I can tinker around down here and split some of it myself. So I don't mind that. I'll split a bunch, toss it back in the pile, and it'll be golden. At least I'm not outside in the weather. At least Heather and I aren't outside in the weather splitting all this right now. We can put it all in here, and then deal with it when it once it's down here, it's dry. That's my plan and as i ended up getting this right here so heather and i now we are going to carry this all in and get pilot so there is jack right up there and jill is up in the chicken coop and uh, we have a bunch of chickens wandering around what we're up to here so we are going to uh, get at this and our little puppy wojo he's not been well either so we're not sure what's going on with him we've had him to the vet and they don't know either but uh, he's losing a lot of weight and he's not eating much. So uh, we'll see what happens there. And it's just starting to rain. You can see that down in that little puddle there. So we're going to get this pile in here and I'll show you what we ended up with. Now that is what we got with that other little load. So that's two, two trailer loads right there. And that pile is 11 feet long by probably three and a half feet high let's take a look here we'll see how high it is i know it's 11 feet long but we'll see how high it is we'll check here in the lowest spot might only be two feet here in the lowest place no we're over three feet here i'll show you this is in the lowest spot we're uh three foot three inches tall so i'm going from the bottom hooked on the bottom not on the floor but hooked on see that's the floor hooked on the bottom log and I'm going up here and we're at three foot three. Oh, it just moved on me again. I'll rehook that. So three foot three right there. And that's at the lowest spot. So that's at that one with a crack in it. So that is the lowest place. Now if I were to go say somewhere here, we would have probably three foot six, right? Oh no, three foot nine. Yeah, three foot nine hooked to the bottom 
And the row is, I'm going to measure on the outside and then I'll go to the inside of this other one. So that's the outside of that one. I'll go to the inside of this and I think it's 11 feet long. 11 foot. Look at that, eh? Bang. So that's from the far side to the inside. So that would really be what, uh, that, that would be center to center, right? So if I went inside, I mean, I would go here. So we're really at, uh, we're at 11 foot eight really in between the posts sorry 10 foot eight <laughs> pretty sure that's what i said i can't remember at least 10 foot eight so 10 foot eight in the pile averages between uh, well i would say it would average three foot six somewhere because that's uh i can't remember now three foot something there nine eight i can't remember and that was three foot three i think yeah i was talking instead of thinking but anyways that's two two little bike loads and uh, we cut it all with that battery saw, as you see. Now, I'm about to put the battery on charge, and it goes right here. But anyways, that's probably it for today, folks. So um, you all take care, and uh, yeah, we'll talk to you uh, another time, folks. Bye-bye, all.